What's up, Beta Nation? Welcome to Dapp Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. Today, we're diving into some breaking news when it comes to the MinSwap protocol and their recent release of stable swaps. As a part of today's video, I want to talk about the tech, the fact that it's also open source and how you can get access to the code if you want to find out more about it. And then last but not least, we're actually going to walk through some of the benefits and then an example of how you can go ahead and use the staple swap feature. As always, if you appreciate content like this, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions, then leave them down below. Jumping right on in, we have this brand new announcement for the staple swap feature, which has now been released on the Cardano mainnet. We saw this feature released on the testnet on the 3rd of April, giving the community roughly about a week to get their hands on this and to familiarize themselves with the staple swap feature. So it reads here, this is now built with Icon, a way to simplify smart contract development here on Cardano. It's also been audited by TX Pipe, and they're an infrastructure provider here on Cardano. And then last but not least, it's open source for anybody to use. So I would assume that we're going to see this smart contract and all the code associated with it plugged into the Maestro smart contract marketplace, which offers anybody right who has a subscription to the Maestro service the ability to go ahead and use and deploy smart contracts built and reviewed here on Cardano. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right on in here. Um, I'll leave the link to Icon if you guys want to find out more about that. Again, it's a modern smart contract platform for simplifying how smart contracts, right, which are based off of Plutus can be written. We've also got TX Pipe here in their official website. Again, their job is to provide all of the core infrastructure to allow for dApps to build on Cardano, in addition to providing auditing services. Last but not least, we have the GitHub repository here, breaking down everything when it comes to the MinSwap stable swap. So again, check out the links down below. Now, if you're just brand new, or if you're just hearing about the stable swap feature for the very first time, I wanna quickly highlight some of the benefits. So I'll go ahead and take the time to do that now. As it stands on a platform, for example, like MinSwap, they use an AMM style model, which allows for liquidity to be supplied for tokens that are being traded. Typically, what we see are two tokens which have varying prices, right? So, for example, you might have ADA and, for example, the Cornucopius token in one liquidity pool where liquidity providers can provide half and half or both tokens into the liquidity pool. Now, there's also order book style protocols where you have to have a matching order, right? If you're looking to buy on the other side and vice versa, if you're looking to sell, you need to have a matching buy on the other side in order for that to go through. So MintSwap is an AMM style protocol, whereas for example, Axo Trade is an order book style platform. Same thing with Genius Yield taking a very uh, similar approach to using the order book. So keep that in mind. That's the first thing we have order book style protocols and we've also got AMM style protocols. Now, when it comes to AMM, because you're typically trading two tokens, that have varying prices, they use what is known as the constant product AMM model. So this breaks down exactly um, some of the mathematics behind it without getting too technical. This model is perfect when trading assets that don't have the same value. So it states here that due to the fact that the CPMM model, right, which is the constant product AMM model, provides a price for the entire price curve shown in the graphic above, they're not ideal for the trading of stable pairs. Now, these are essentially assets that have the same price or that are pegged to the same value. So when it comes to the stable swaps, their key benefit is because you're trading two assets that should theoretically have the same value, you're gonna have a less likelihood of incurring impermanent loss. You're also gonna be able to trade higher amounts without impacting the price. So they use a different market model, which is known as the constant sum market maker model. Some of the benefits, of course, include low and permanent loss, because again, the assets that are provided in the liquidity pool should theoretically have the same value. So if the price of one asset goes up, the other should go up as well. And same thing down, the other asset should go down as well. Now, again, if they're pegged, for example, to the US dollar, theoretically, both assets should always be worth a dollar. Um, next is that it, it allows for high capital efficiency as well as low fees, low slippage, 
and it provides higher amounts of liquidity. So now that we better understand this, and if you guys want to find out more about that, again, it's a much more technical article. I'll leave the link to that down below. If you actually want to test out this new feature, of course, you can jump onto the test net. You can grab some test um, stable coins, right, which include my USD, Indigo, USDC coming in from the one chain, as well as Jed, just to name a few. Now, once you actually hop over to the trade page, you now have the ability to add a market order, a limit order, and there's now a brand new stable swap option. Clicking on that here, we can see that we can begin to identify which stable assets we want to swap into, which right now, this stable swap feature is just for the um, US dollar backed stable coins or the US peg stable coins. Now, you can imagine that we could have additional types of stable assets. For example, if there's maybe a token that's supposed to represent gold and two separate teams have that token or have a similar um, feature or similar asset that should be pegged to the price of gold, theoretically, you could also use the stable swap feature to trade those as well. So this is not only for the US dollar, it's for any assets that should be pegged to the same value. So here we have the ability to toggle on and off verify tokens. Right now, there's only support for JED, IUSD, and USDC. So as a simple example, let's say I own JED. I can select JED here, and I want to swap that over into USDC provided by the one chain bridge. I can just type in 100 here. And as you can see, I'll be receiving $98 worth or basically $99 worth of USDC. So as we get more liquidity, there should be less price impact on larger swaps. But this again gives a little bit of stability, I should say, to anybody who wants to swap from one stable coin to another. Um, right now, there aren't many protocols that offer a stable swap feature. I believe the only other platform that does offer stable swaps right now is the Wing Riders DEX. So we now have two protocols providing this feature, allowing for quick swaps between different stablecoin assets on Cardano. Now, again, you may have noticed that um, this does have a minor price impact. That's just due to the current liquidity. If I jump over to this next page here, we have two separate pools. So we've got JED and the IUSD token, which currently has around $189,000 ADAS worth um, locked in the pool. We also have another pool for USDC and JED, which has about 58,000 ADAS worth of dollars in that particular pool. So liquidity still relatively low. Um, however, as more stable coins come into the Mintsaw protocol, you should be able to swap bigger amounts um, without necessarily having a big price impact and without necessarily having to crank up or increase the slippage. So I want to quickly highlight this brand new feature. Again, congrats to the MintSwap team. Congrats to the Cardano Spot team. And of course, thank you to the Icon team as well as the TX Pipe team as well. Um, one last thing I want to maybe mention is the fact that we don't have the adoption for um, USDM, which is just released by the Mahen team. But I would assume, right, that once we get more liquidity, that that should come in and be supported for the stable swap feature. Very similarly, we have my USD from the Mint team, which I also don't see here, uh, but I would love to see more options given the fact that this is what this is all about, right? Being able to take one um, fiat backed, or I should just say one dollar pegged asset and being able to swap that for another dollar pegged asset, whether that's over collateralized, fiat backed, synthetic, et cetera. This brand new stable soft feature gives you the ability to do that without losing your hard earned dollars in the swapping process. That will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys learned something along the way. If you did, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by and you want more content like this, highlighting everything going on in Cardano, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me, then make sure to leave them down below. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.